Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon Ruby in the last part. We finally got around to chasing down the little stolen submarine and crap I need a Pokemon with Rock Smash here. Damn it Rock Smash, why must you be an HM move and why must you suck so much? Okay, who can I teach Rock Smash? Uh, yeah. So I think Heracross had a couple of moves he didn't really need. Let's see, uh... Yeah, counter. I'm probably never gonna do anything with frickin' counter anyway. Because Heracross is not all that bulky. So, out with counter, in with Rock Smash. whoop the frickin do And let's see, someone needs strength as well. And because strength is stronger than horn attack, I figured might as well teach it to Heracross as well. Heracross, you're my new HM slave. Alright. Pretty sure I got like all HMs on my team now. Heracross has strength and rock smash. Swampert has surf and dive. Swallow has fly. Magneton has flash. I don't think anyone has cut though. But I really don't need cut anymore, so it's not much of a problem. Because the rest of the game is going to take place mainly in caves and on the ocean. No forest or no trees to cut or anything. Which is a good thing. Alright, Magma Guy. We don't need a kid around, go home already. Wish I could, but when there's trouble about, I cannot leave it alone. Ooh, level 37, Puccina. Okay, maybe if they have the level advantage, they might actually pose a threat to me. Or maybe not. Can I at least get a decent amount of experience out of this one? Eh. Not really a Numel. Yeah, we'll stay in with Heracross, why not? Why switch? We'll go for Dig. Crap, I think Numel can have Magnitude. Or he just goes for Takedown instead. I mean, come on. Takedown's like the worst possible thing you can do. I'm pretty sure Heracross resists Magnitude, though. I'm not, not, it's pretty iffy, the type matchup between Bug and Ground. Like... I think ground is neutral to bug, but bug resists ground. I think. Because if you use a ground move on a Pokemon like Beedrill or Dustox, it's a neutral thing. So the poison type's weak to ground, so that must mean that bug resists it. If I'm correct. Ooh, Amnesia. Yeah, that's totally gonna help you out in this situation. I don't even get how that move works, like... Okay, the Pokémon gets Amnesia. It starts forgetting stuff. So how does that boost its special defense? Exactly. It's just... Why would getting Amnesia make you better at anything? In fact, it should make you worse at things. Because you can't remember how to do them. Alright, what do we have over here? Oh joy, strength puzzles. Don't you just love those? Let's see, would you like to use strength? Yes, I would. Eric Ross, go ahead. Let's see, do this and break that rock. Geez, Eric Ross, you're in a real workout here. So, what do we have over here? Okay, go in this cave. More strength puzzles. Yes, this entire cavern is just one big freaking strength puzzle. Luckily, I've done this one many times before. Uh, I have to go around. Yep, this one, and then bop into that one, break the rock here. I have no clue if I'm doing this correctly or not, but I don't think it really matters, because I think both caves lead somewhere. Oh great, surf puzzles. I have no clue why I just exited the room there, I guess I kind of messed up. So yeah, you see the currents there, they pretty much just take you along with them. Uh, this one. And then... This one? Crap, I think this is the wrong one. Oh no, it's not. Sweet. Nailed it. Oh yeah, here's the moderately difficult strength puzzle. Let's see, how did this one go again? Because it's pretty easily, pretty easy to get yourself stuck in this one. 
And of course, you always get interrupted by goddamn Zubats. How do they even, like, live in this cave? As far as we know, the only entrance is underwater. And Zubat is not a Pokémon that can survive underwater. Because it's a bat. It doesn't have gills. It has no way of moving underwater. I guess it can use its wings as fins or something, but that really... Wings aren't meant for underwater use. Oh, Magma Admin already. Guess we're on the right track. And that opponent might be a problem. Especially with Dig being absolutely unusable in this generation. Because Dig has had some power fluctuations over the years. Back in Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow, Dig actually had a power of 100. Which means that it's just as strong as Earthquake. Except it takes two turns to use as opposed to Earthquake's one, so Earthquake is still better. I think in Generation 2, it was still 100 as well. Oh crap. Yeah, Earthquake hits you even when you're using Dig. I think it actually does double damage then as well. Oh, come on! That was totally uncalled for, camera up. Uh, let's see. It's used Amnesia twice, so its special defense is at plus four. But it's still four times weak to water, so let's give it a try. Yep, still works. Sucker. So yeah, in Generation 3, they, for some reason, they lowered Dig's power to a mere 60. And 60 is really the kind of power level that makes or breaks a move. Like 60 and it's too weak to really use late in the game, but it might be useful like in the early game. And then in Generation 4 they raised the power of Dig back to 80. Which makes it better, but still inferior to Earthquake. And... Ooh, Swagger. I have no clue why I went for hidden power here, because it's Ghost. Mighty Anna resists that, and Magneton does not have good attack stat, but maybe now that the Swagger is in effect, and Magneton doesn't hit himself... How would he even hit himself? He doesn't have any arms. Oh wow, he still lives it. Oh well, he just kills himself with takedown recoil. Worked for me. Whatever gets the job done. And I get lots of experience. Level 34, do we get a new move? No, we don't get a new move. Ah ha ha, ouch. Guess a rock fell on our head or something. Alright, get out of the way, Atman, I have better things to do. Now what? Another Zubat, why am I surprised? And why are none of these shiny? I mean, seriously, that would totally make this LP awesome if I could run into a shiny, like... freaking Chugga Conroy in his Crystal LP with the coughing... I didn't watch his LP, I just read about it on TV Tropes. For some reason, that guy has his own TV Tropes page. Which I also have these days, so yeah, go to TV Tropes and search for General Secura. And feel free to add to the page, because it's kind of really empty right now. So yeah, go ahead and expand my TV Tropes page for me, slaves. So yeah, here's how you do this strength puzzle. It's really easy to get yourself stuck, but that's how you do it. Take notes. And this TM here is the TM for the almighty ground move that is Earthquake. One of the best moves in the game. Sadly, you only get to use the TM once. Now, most of you would say teach it to Swampert, but Swampert can learn it through leveling up. And that's why I'm going to teach it to Hariyama instead. For some reason, I guess Ohariyama can deal with poison types or something. But, um, yeah. Don't ask me why I did... I don't know what I was thinking when I did that, but I've come to regret it. When I was facing the champion off-screen, like, recording new parts the other day. And Swampert still had Mud Shot, and it just wasn't cutting it. Like, uh, why did I teach Swampert Earthquake? Why, why, why? I guess I'm just stupid. But yeah, there's Groudon, the legendary Pokemon and mascot of this game. And Maxi wants to control Groudon. But we're gonna stop him, of course, because we're the goddamn hero. So alright, Magma Leader Maxi, you got a mighty Yenna like the rest of your freaking team. 
Ooh, level 41. That's a bit tough. Oh uh, well, I have Swallow. What can possibly go wrong? I should be asking what can possibly go right because it's freaking Swallow. Of course. I really think I just jinxed it. Alright, Swallow. One more try before he whacks you. Or maybe at least severely damages you. Come on, take to the skies. Better hope this works. Better hope this hits. Yes, it hits, and wow, that is pathetic. Swallow, why are you so pathetically weak? Ah, Swallow is really only good when it has a status effect on it. Alright, Hariyama, you're up. Wish Heracross wasn't down and out right now. Eh, I don't give a crap about scary face. I mean, Vital Throw makes me go last anyway, so who cares about speed? And besides, Hariyama's not going to be outspeeding anything. So down goes my Deanna because Hariyama's just too strong. Oh, that's nice. Decent experience. Crobat. Okay, the evolved form of Golbat, that is. Eh, can probably take it. Magneton. I mean, what's a Crobat gonna do to Magneton? It's immune to poison moves. Oh yeah, there's that. <sighs> Why? I did not ask to be confused. Come on, at least get a Thunderbolt off. There's no way Crobat can take that bite. Yeah, that does nothing. She's gonna try and confuse me and then flinch me with bite, I'm guessing. Let's see what that does. I'm not expecting a one-hit KO, but I guess I should have barely been expecting that. And of course now he's gonna heal like it. Oh, Super Potion, that's not even gonna get close to fully healing him. So down goes Crobat. Poor Crobat. Actually, I had a Crobat on my team when I first played through Ruby as a kid. For some reason I caught a Zubat and actually trained it, and then it evolved into Golbat and then into Crobat. And I have no clue where that Crobat is these days. Like, I've transported most of my original Ruby team over to my Platinum game, and then to my White game. I have the Blaziken I used, I have the Groudon, the Armaldo, the Sharpedo. But I have no clue where my Crobat went. It's not on my Ruby game, it's not on my Platinum game, and it's not on my White game. Maybe I should check my old Colosseum safe, well it might actually be on there. But yeah, we beat Maxi and the blue orbs start shining. And Groudon's moving. Oh crap, it's gonna kill me. Is it? No, it leaps into the air. Yeah, a 10 foot something dragon that weighs 2,000 pounds can just leap into the air like that. What is it? The sun's burning brightly? Good, that should have happened. That's why we awakened Groudon. Their diabolical plan has been set into motion. What? It's far harder than we envisioned. It's so hot that it's dangerous? Yep, even the best thought out plans can go wrong. And this one has gone very, very wrong. Why did Groudon disappear? I think maybe you mixed the orbs up. I mean, wouldn't it make sense that you control Groudon, the red Pokemon, with the red orb and... The blue orb controls Kyogre, the blue Pokemon. But no. What are you saying? The blue orb shouldn't control Groudon. No, it shouldn't. Or at least maybe it should, but it just didn't work. We don't have time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself the chaos you have wrought. Oh, he used, actually used the word wrought. You have to get out of here too. Ooh, that's bright. Yeah, that's not good. What is this wretched scene? That's your doing, dumbass. Yeah, you did. You really, really did. I only wondered, yeah, that's what they all say when their plans go wrong. And then Archie's gonna beat some sense into him. How does that's where a dream turn out to be? And of course, it's pretty hilarious that this scene is mirrored in its entirety in Sapphire, where Archie awakens Kyogre and the world is threatened with horrible rainstorms that are gonna flood the entire world. And then it's Ma Ma Maxi telling some sense into Archie. So it is depending on the version you play. And I think in Emerald, both Groudon and Kyogre get awakened, and 
all hell breaks loose, basically. So yeah. Oh, hey, it's Steven. What's happening? Well, the world's gonna end. It's 2012. It's not December yet, but still, we're all gonna die. The cause of this calamity is in the sky of Sutopolis, which also happens to be the town where the final gym is. Yay, hooray for killing two birds with one stone. Don't do anything reckless, like fighting a legendary Pokemon head on. Which is exactly what we're gonna do, but first we have to get to Sutopolis City. Which should be nearby, yeah, that's pretty close. Alright, we'll go to Sutopolis City and stop this madness in the next part of Pokemon Ruby. So thanks for watching, see you guys later.